How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Most of the time whenever you see me do food videos, it's always of something that is very normal, very typical, like egg rolls, uh, beef noodle soup or something. It's like an actual recipe. But you know, off camera, this is not the way I actually eat. I actually make something super duper simple. You could even say that most of the food that I eat is super duper bland. So I'm just gonna show you <laughs> Probably no one wants to eat the way I am right now, but I am just so lazy. I just make whatever and then I just kind of eat it. So if someone were to ask me what I ate for lunch, it would be like, oh, I ate rice, beans, vegetables, and you know, these are all of the original components. It's not like, oh, it's some uh, rice and beans burrito or something, right? So today I actually did not really prepare anything, no recipe or anything. I'm just gonna open up my fridge, take out what I'm, typically eat for dinner I'm, and you guys can see that for today. So here we go. You know, in my fridge, it's pretty barren. You might complain about my water bottles, but these has been sitting here for maybe like a year. I never drink these, they just sit there. Over here, I have some pre-prepared rice. Now this rice doesn't really need a recipe or anything. One cup of rice and one cup of steel cut oats just to add a little bit more fiber into it rather than just white rice because that's really bad for you. Whenever you eat white rice, it becomes basically sugar in your blood. So this is my effort to try to add more fiber to kind of slow down the, uh, the absorption. This week is a little bit different because I decided to add a little bit of tomato paste in it. I typically add about one tablespoon of oregano and I just you know, cook all of this, including the steel cut oats, like as if it's rice. So I just put it in the rice cooker, cook it, and it comes out like this. No salt or anything, just oregano and tomato paste, which I have over here. You know, sometimes I just like to change it up a little bit and make it, uh, make this kind of more like Mexican rice, even though it's not long grain. So I just use some of this tomato paste, about one tablespoon, uh, put it in here. This is the first time I've done this by the way and it tastes all right to me. So you have the rice portion. I'm gonna go through the other stuff that I eat. Over here is my bowl of uh, purple cabbage and I happen to have half an onion that's diced up in there and I also have mushrooms. They are the brown kind of mushrooms, not the white one because the brown one has vitamin D in it and it tastes a little bit better to me. So when I made this, I just cut up one full red cabbage. It's actually purple. And basically, I only steam it for about five minutes or so, and I add in about a quarter cup of water. So you see at the bottom, it's there's still a little bit of water, but I like to cook um, cabbage just a little bit, just so that it's softened up, but it still has the purple in it, um, just to retain some of the vitamins. Because if you cook it too much, then you know all the vitamins go away. So all of the food that I'm talking about here, the way I'm cooking it. I like to think that this is a really, really healthy meal, although it might not be like really great tasting, like a lot of sugar, a lot of fat, a lot of salt, because I don't add any salt at all. I try to make it really, really healthy, and that is the main optimization for me personally. And then the other thing here is beans. Now you see I got a little bit left here. What I normally do is I take one pound of beans, whatever bean it is, these happen to be pinto beans. It's not as healthy, uh, not as vitamin nutrient as uh, black beans and red beans. Normally, I would, uh, you know, put those in as well. Um, just, just all the same kind. Basically, I soak the beans overnight. Add in four cups of water. Sometimes I would add other flavorings like half a diced onion, a tablespoon of cumin powder, you know, paprika, smoked paprika. Uh, just you know, whatever I feel like at the time to make this and then after it's done, I drain it out and then I add back in about three quarter cup of water or so so that it has some liquid in order to mix and I take like a hand blender and I just blend it all up because I personally don't like to eat pinto beans, that's awful. You have to chew too much and it doesn't taste really good to me. So I like the texture a lot when you blend it up. So this is why it's pre-blended and you know, this amount over here, it's about one cup or so, and this is what I eat every single serving. So right here, this will be, you know, I, when I eat dinner, I would just scrape all of this up and this will be, you know, one meal over here. And generally when I make one pound of it, you know, I can eat it maybe eight to 10 times or so. So I cook things in bulk like this, 
like this and I can eat each one of these eight times roughly and over here every single time I cook rice I can eat it about five times or so so you can imagine I only need to cook once and then I eat like five six times so the time savings is immense and yet I still get the nutrient requirements that I need now you'll notice that all of this is like red cabbage beans rice they are all a uh, vegan option there's no meat in it although i'm not saying i am a true vegan i try to be like you know monday through friday or something or like whenever i just kind of feel like eating meat or when i go out with friends or and stuff so i would say i like to eat it at most times um in order to be healthy because i think the proper diet is not that much uh meat maybe uh, one or two servings of meat every single week and you might wonder hey what other meat do you eat? There's no meat in here. Well, sometimes I eat sardines. So over here, I have a packet of sardines over here I bought from Costco. It's basically 100% uh, olive oil with sardines. Um, you might go, oh, sardines, oh, are you like poor or something? No, actually, I really, really like the taste of the sardine. It's like, I really, really enjoy eating this. Um, I know like in some rap videos and stuff, right? People like they talk about when they're like broke and then they're like, oh, you know, at eating sardines for dinner, you know, like like you're in the down in the right and you don't have money or something. But I actually like eating these. So what else is for dinner? I have over here uh, Brussels seed sprouts. So these are broccoli seeds. It's a super duper cost effective way. Whenever you buy a packet of this, this is one pound of it. You put in one tablespoon into a bottle like this and I got some special lids where it's like a, like a little grid, right? And you soak it for eight hours and it's important to not soak it for one full day because if you soak it for longer, I noticed that these uh, broccoli sprout seeds, they kind of go bad a little bit and they would start smelling not good all the way from the very first day if you soak it for more than eight hours or so. so do it only 8 to 12 hours and make sure that you drain it out and then you start uh, rinsing it uh, twice a day, once in the morning, once at night afterwards. And then, yeah, I did it properly and, you know, there's no weird, you know, rotting smell from this, from this batch that I made over here. So I would take about a quarter cup of this and just sprinkle it on top of the beans and, you know, then you won't taste the spiciness of the broccoli sprouts over here because I don't like the spicy taste. So now let me just, you know, take the portions and then put it on a separate bowl and then show you what I actually eat. Hold on. So far, I just usually look at a bowl like this. I do a quarter of the bowl is rice, a quarter of the bowl is beans, and then, you know, you gotta have one of these spatula things to just scrape the end of uh, all the beans. So you get everything, see, all of it, it's gone. So I just finished this and because I ran out, I still want to eat some tomorrow. So I'm going to uh, put some dried beans in here and just start soaking it. So here it is, I portioned it out. It turns out this is a little bit too much for me. If I eat all of this, it's, I get really, really full. So I, I, I typically would want to do like maybe like 80%. 90% of uh, what I'm showing here. I'm just gonna go and heat it over there. I don't put the broccoli sprouts on top because I don't want, really want to cook them. So just stick them in here, about two and a half minutes. And you know, whenever you have the food that's cooked already, you just take it out of your fridge, just portion it out, microwave it, and basically I can walk into the kitchen and then walk out with something to eat within a few minutes. You're just reheating stuff, right? Generally after a meal, I like to have something sweet. So instead of having cookies or some piece of chocolate or something, I just have fruits. Uh, these are, happens to be a little bit tiny. So um, I'm just gonna eat two or three of them. These are organic apples, taste really, really good. And I wanna say something about what I think about having such low number of different kinds of foods in one meal because I feel like people can withstand, they, they actually have a buffer, right? You can have something for maybe a whole week and then you switch over to a different fruit or vegetable or grain or something or a different kind of bean and then you would absorb the different kind of uh, nutrients. You don't actually have to have all different kinds. This is how, this is just something I feel. You don't have to have like spinach, uh, mushroom, whatever, every single thing in one single meal, every single meal. So what I generally like to do is just make it really, really dead simple. Just make one kind of vegetable. 
I'm gonna eat that for a week and then the next week I'm gonna eat something else so this week I'm eating red cabbage next week I might go okay maybe I'll eat uh, spinach for a day or two in a row and then after that I'm planning on having Brussels sprouts so it's just kind of you know rotates through it's done over there it doesn't actually matter too much to me um, I used to have some nutritional yeast I just ran out maybe a day ago uh, so normally I would uh, sprinkle some uh, fresh ground pepper um, onto the beans and also some nutritional yeast but you know it's no big deal that I run out of one thing or anything so I'm just not gonna put it on there this time it's it's okay because I'll get it next time the sprouts that's good enough and just kind of I just kind of do do that and and that's it I'm just gonna eat this so that's it this is what I eat for dinner and um, this is why I don't make a food video a recipe video out of it because I feel like it's kind of like a, like a monk thing to do. Maybe monks even eat better than I do. I just kind of like eat very blandly and I'm okay with it. And I have to say, yes, I save money, but it's also a health reason too, because whenever I eat this way for an extended period of time, I feel really, really healthy and I can actually go out and, you know, eat something bad for one or two meals and it's okay. You know, I save time. I'm eating as healthy as I think I should be. Things are organic, things, you know, I have a good mixture of different kinds of nutrients. So I don't expect people to copy what I have done here, but I just wanted to show you guys how I eat um, on a typical day-to-day -day basis. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. Don't forget to give me a like, comment down below. Let me know if you do something similar <laughs> and push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.